If you're looking for how to build a drop down menu in Bubble, just like the one here clicking on this shop button, if you want something like this, then stay tuned. You're going to find out how to build it in this video. So, first things first, we're going to head over to the back end Bubble editor where we are going to expand out, in this case, the menu by giving it some additional height so we have something to work with. Next up, we're going to use this element called the focus, group focus underneath the containers. And I imagine uh, this may be some folks first time seeing this, so I'm gonna talk about what this thing is. This is, first off, I want it to be a column because obviously I want stuff repeating down, uh, but it has this special reference element um, attribute that you can set. So I want to head over to this text shop and I can see, okay, I'm dealing with the text shop. That's where I want a group focus element. So like, where, where do you want it to uh, appear anchored to? And so we want to anchor it to this other visual element. Uh, and then what else do I want to do? I think I want to offset it from the top by like maybe eight. That's just a preference. The background color we'll leave as uh, white. We'll give it a roundness of six. And let's see for this, width and layout and everything. I think we can probably go with like 140. And we'll leave it with the minimum height for now, but when it's fitting to content, we actually have content in there, we'll just set this to zero. Uh, but for now, we want something to work with. Okay, uh, let me go ahead and grab a group then. So the way that I imagine my menu to be, now at this point, like, you know, make this however you see what you would see fit. But I'm gonna say that for me, I'll put this at 40, 48, no, to have about 36. I think that looks pretty good. It's gonna be a row. I'm gonna let it expand out as far as it needs to. And then with inside of this row, I just wanna do two things. So I would imagine that, you know, a lot of the, a lot of the menus out there uh, that you see, they'll have an icon on them or, um, you know, something that indicates a little bit of a picture of what this is. And I'll let you choose either an icon, you could put an image there, however you would go about it. In this case, I'm just gonna use a simple material icon and drop it into this group. And we could probably go and grab a piece of text and copy that in as well. But first, let's actually get this to a good size, so 28. And then I'll point out, if you ever use icons, always check make the, uh, make the element fixed width. If not, it will probably have some unexpected behaviors, like the icon will take up more space than you think, but you only see an icon there visually. But now let's go copy in that text. And so I've got some different um, art styles that I want to put here. Let's just check minimalist. We'll just uh, use what we already already have there. And then let's do something here where we're going to, no, we'll keep it like this. On the out of, outside of this, I just want to give a little bit of padding. These type of stylistic choices, I'll leave up to, uh, you know, uh, the viewer to, just match whatever it is that you want to, to match for, for your world. Uh, I'm going to bring this down to 140 because I think that's going to look a little bit nicer. And then here, let's just add a column gap of maybe eight. So that looks pretty good. And then in this group, I'm going to call it group one. I'm going to give it a conditional that when this group is hovered, and I want to do this, so I'm going to get, I'm going to set up one of these things so it's just how I like it. And then I will repeat it down the page. So the background color in this case, we'll just go something pretty light, F4, F5 is fine. And then we'll just copy this down the page. And I'm not even gonna bother to go beyond this because obviously we can see what's, what's here. And so why don't we just go and take a look at that uh, on the page front end right after I say, or remove this minimum height, so then it pulls up there. The, the one thing that we do wanna do though is on this shop button, we wanna add a workflow. And in my world, I prefer, rather than just use an element action to show it, I wanna give a little animation. So I'm gonna fade that in. Uh, let's see. 
Okay, so we had we had a good amount of good amount of copy copy uh copy sloppiness there, but that's okay. So when this is clicked, I want it to fade in, and I'm going to have a custom duration of 200. And then I want this to, I want this only to occur when our group, when our group focus A is not visible. So that means when it is visible, we're going to actually do something different. We're going to make it disappear. So pretty easy workflows here with just a couple conditionals. So when it is visible, rather than fade in, let's have it fade out. Let's see, did we get uh, when it is visible, when it is invisible, transition, fade in. Oh, of course, simple, simple miss there. So we can see that our nice, we can maybe add some uh, roundness on this group or something like that so it matches the other roundness. We could also uh, add a bit of a drop shadow uh, again, all this stuff is just design uh, suggestions. It's, we've really, we're kind of done with the uh, tutorial part of this of just seeing how this is all built together. But so if I want to do a shadow style of an outset and I want to bring this, let's just take this down to more like, so, like somewhere in the 20s. And then maybe I want to give this a roundness of, well, all of them. To just share the importance at the end of this video here, the importance of good design, as we can see on this lovely page. Okay, so now let's take a look at this. So we see that. We see that nice little rounded effect. We see a slight bit of a raised background shadow there and gives you something that looks really nice. And then obviously once these have their own workflows, the group it is, that is, the, the mouse is going to take on this shape of the the finger white glove thing that uh, that it does, the pointer. Uh, so there you have it. Thanks for joining in on this one. If you like this video, please give it a like or subscribe to the channel for more great tips about bubble. And thanks for watching.